So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to generate your first 10K on Shopify using this small budget Facebook ad strategy, okay? I get a lot of questions on, you know, how to get started with Facebook ads, but I don't have a very big budget. So I wanna show you how you can start today using this strategy to generate over 10K in under 30 days. So as you can see here, I was able to generate over 10K this month okay and this is under 30 days okay and just to show you that this is not a screenshot or anything i'm going to refresh the page okay and so i just want to show you these results because this is nothing spectacular okay the conversion rate isn't super high the average order value isn't anything crazy I just want to show you this because this is something very attainable that you can do right now and this is something that i did this current month this is not last year this is not two years ago so i just wanted to show you this to let you know that it is very possible to generate this amount of money right now using the strategy that i'm about to go over so, okay so now we are in the ad account and so i'm going to walk you through the first seven days and honestly performance wasn't great and i'm going to tell you why in a second now whenever you're running a small budget strategy you always want to use two campaigns right one is going to be a prospecting campaign this is going to get new people to your shopify store people that are not familiar with your brand okay completely cold audiences okay and then the second campaign is going to be a remarketing campaign so this is going to get everybody that saw your first ad or people that added to cart or people that initiated checkout and didn't buy this is where you're going to retarget them to get them back to your store to buy from you okay now within these campaigns i keep it very simple okay now within my prospecting campaigns this is a completely broad audience right um you know nothing special here just united states 18 to 50 all genders all demographics all interests all languages and advantage plus placements okay i really don't touch anything here completely broad and then i do all expanded inventory and then for the actual creative that i'm running is a carousel ad okay now the reason i really like carousels is because i have a multi-product store and it allows me to put a lot of products in front of my audience or potential customers uh, without having to do multiple ads okay and so i've always used carousels for like all my multi-product stores and they have never failed me at all and as you can see this is a very simple setup one campaign one ad set one ad okay and so for my remarketing i do the exact same thing um but within my remarketing campaign i have all my custom audiences all website visitors all add to carts 180 days initiate checkout 180 days people that viewed content on my website and then anybody that's interacted with uh, my Instagram okay and then I also did click the box for advantage custom audiences I found that these actually work in the past I didn't have a lot of success with them so I turned it off but recently this actually has been working for me so I have that clinked on and then again everything the exact same expanded inventory advantage plus placements and then I also have a carousel ad right the only difference within this carousel is the actual copy I just give a discount a 20 percent discount at checkout using this code okay and that is really it that's all i have in these campaigns now over the first seven days again i didn't have great performance because my actual website wasn't great my conversion rate was terrible and my offer was terrible but thankfully the sponsor of this video can help you turn it around and is what I use to turn my ads around as well. Picking the right theme can honestly make or break the success of your Shopify store, but thankfully, Debutify has you covered. I have personally been using Debutify on my own stores and it has drastically increased my conversion rate. The great thing about Debutify is they have over 50 plus add-ons at your fingertips that you can easily toggle on and off for your Shopify store. If you need a sticky add to cart button for your Shopify store, they got you covered. You need automatic geolocation for your Shopify store so you can sell products all over the world. 
yeah, they have that too. So if you're searching for a theme for your Shopify store, I highly recommend that you try out the Beautify and you can try it out today, 100% risk free for 14 days using the first link in the description down below. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through the next seven days to show you how performance improved. And so honestly, even though my ads didn't do great, <laughs> you know, in the beginning, I knew that I was still gonna see good performance because I knew it wasn't the ads. And so whenever you're analyzing your performance, it's really good to understand and know your numbers. So for me and my brand, I knew that a cost per click of 53 cents was really good. I knew this click-through rate was good enough. I know the CPMs that I was getting charged was good, right? All these numbers look good on the front end. Just when people were getting to my website, they just weren't converting. Like during this time frame, I got 269 at the carts. I got about 77 initiated checkouts. So people were adding to cart, they were checking out, but when it came to put in their credit card, they just couldn't do it. And I knew that it was my website, either they didn't trust it, you know, the user experience, like there was something going on that caused people not to buy. And so this is where I switched out my website and my theme to Debutify um, to check it out. I was like, you know what, let me just see, right? And then I tweaked my offer a little bit to see if I can get people to convert. And I was 100% right, okay? And so when you go to the next day, the 11th, right? I was able to get a purchase or cost per purchase for under $7, spending $50 in prospecting and then spending $10 in remarketing. So whenever you're trying something new, I always recommend that you back down the budget a little bit um, unless you have money to risk, okay? For me, I'm a little bit more on the conservative side, but I know whenever I change my budget drastically, like that first day is typically always bad, okay? But in this instance, you know, the campaign really performed, okay? A $7 cost per purchase is really, really good. And I think my ROAS for this day was like super high. Yeah, it was 54 for prospecting in total with remarketing because I didn't get any sales in remarketing um, was, what was that, 4.6. But either way, this was a great day. I was super, super happy. But again, you don't want to get too emotionally swayed because this is just one day. But I had a feeling like, okay, I think I'm going to be good for the remainder of the month to hit my goal of 10K. So let's look at the next day. Now for July 12th, I didn't do as well. I only got three purchases in prospecting, but remarketing did kick in and I got three sales in remarketing. And this day, I really wanted to test some upper funnel like um, stuff with this brand. I was trying to figure out maybe if I added in some spend um, to get Instagram profile visits, maybe I may be able to get more sales, but honestly, that didn't really work that great and my CPMs were higher. So even though I got really, really cheap like uh, link clicks, I got really, really cheap like, um, you know, add to carts, none of these people actually converted into anything, okay? Um, so that is one thing that when you are going after like traffic and stuff like that, most of the time these people do not convert, okay? So you don't want to waste your money on these things. If you want to make money, make sure, make sure that you do sales campaigns. But at the time I was like, you know what, let me try, let me see what will happen if I do an Instagram profile visit campaign. Um, but I did get some ad cards, but they just didn't turn into anything at all. So my ROAS for that day was a blended three ROAS. My remarketing was going crazy. It was at 16, but prospecting was 0 0.8. But this was still a profitable day, okay? Let's go to July 13th. So July 13th was a little bit better. Um, I was still running this Instagram profile visit campaign, but I pretty much stopped it at $3.76. I don't know why I didn't pause it the night before. I think I just forgot to pause the campaign, right? But again, 
Um, remarketing didn't make any sales this day, so that was a bummer, but I did do pretty decently uh, for my prospecting campaign at $11 cost per purchase. And then the ROAS for this game for this day was uh, two, but the blended ROAS was 1.6. So I think I just broke even this day. Um, so nothing really too crazy. Let's go to Sunday. So this was also another bad day. So remarketing hadn't gotten sales for like two or three days. Um, so I was kind of getting a little nervous. I was like, yo, what's going on? Um, but you know, I decided to keep it on. But the purchase row as for this day was 1.6. Again, I think I just broke even this day. Um, but I was getting a bunch of add to carts. Okay. I always get a bunch of add to carts, but for some reason, people just weren't converting at all. And I was starting to get a little frustrated. Um, but you know, sometimes it's like that. On the 15th, though, the ads started to work again. Um, so this is where I was spending $100 a day. Um, I got up to $100 a day. I felt really good about it. Um, and remarketing got sales this day. And I think the ROAS for today was pretty decent. So yeah, I had a two ROAS for prospecting and then 6.67 for remarketing. So this was a good day. This was a 2.4 ROAS. I was making money, okay? And so the 16th, was a decent day, nothing too crazy. I don't think I had a great ROAS this day. What was it? Yeah, it was decent. It was almost at two. So, you know, I was a little bit profitable this day. Um, so I wasn't upset. Now you can see that each day really ebbs and flows. Sometimes you can have really good days. Other days are not that great, but as long as you stay the course, you will be fine. And then obviously, you know, um, even on days to where my ROAS wasn't great, a lot of times um, Facebook will undercount how much money it actually like attributes to the campaign. So even though my ads itself in Facebook ad manager doesn't show how many sales I made in actual sales, you know, most of these days I was profitable. But if you just look at this alone, you know, uh, I may not be as profitable, but it doesn't give as much value um, as it could. And so if we go to the 17th, again, not a great day. Wednesdays are just not great days for me, honestly. Uh, Wednesday didn't do great. Um, and so I only got four sales that day. Um, and my ROAS was 1.3, okay? But the best day, I think, of this month was the 18th. This day I was able to get 16 purchases, okay? Today it was printing, okay? I was super lit and my remarketing campaign did well. I was getting $2 purchases, right? Um, and so I think the ROAS for this day was crazy. Um, what was the actual ROAS? Okay, here. So the ROAS for the 18th was 3.62 and the purchase conversion ROAS for remarketing was 10. So the blended ROAS was a four. Um, so you can see, as I keep saying, like, just stay the course. Just because you have one bad day or a couple bad days, you can make all your money back and some, you know, as you continue to scale and just leave it alone. And honestly, for the majority of the month, the rest of the month, I just left it alone. The next day, July 19th, it was printing. I was getting $5 purchases all from $100 a day. So this is where Meta started to really understand like, you know, what my consumer was, like everything was starting to be in place. So honestly, after the 18th, I really kept it at about $100 a day for the remaining of the month. Recently, I did up it to about 120, but honestly, for the most, most of this time, it was all at 100 on average, about $100 per day. So if we look at, you know, how much I spent this entirety of the month, um, we're looking at $2,839.46. And I generated over 10K with that amount of ad spend.
okay? Now, for a lot of people, you may be trying to figure out, okay, I don't have $2,000, $3,000 to spend on ads. Like, where are you getting this money from? Now, what happens is, like, Facebook doesn't charge you until you reach your threshold. So for my account, I have about a $900 threshold. So I can spend up to $900 without being charged. And so as long as you're making your money back, so on the days I was making, you know, spending $50 a day, if I was making back $100, I would continue to spend. So on your profitable days, like if you only have $100 to run ads or $200 to run ads, as long as you can be profitable, right? You can continue to spend money on ads because you're gonna have the money when the bill is due, okay? So that's how people are able to spend $1,000 a day or $2,000 a day is because as they continue to grow and be more profitable, right, they have more money to cover the ad spend. And so that's how you get up to spending, you know, $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month or $15,000 a month. You start at spending $20 or $50 a day and then Okay, I've spent 50, I made $100. Okay, I'm gonna spend $100, now I make $200. You get the point, okay? And so that is really it, okay? It's not super complicated. It's very simple and to the point. So if you have any questions at all, make sure that you comment them down below. I try to answer every single question that I get. And again, definitely check out the Beautify. It has definitely helped me with my uh, you know, Shopify store. So definitely check it out. Again, link in the description down below.